Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our realistic series. It is the cold, dark depths of winter. Snow is on the ground. Snow is everywhere. At least it's not actually snowing right now. It's not raining either, which is even better, because if you have snow and then it rains, it's it's pretty pretty grim going. It, it, it really is. Uh, we've got 1,300 litres of food in there still. They seem to be absolutely fine, so we don't need to worry about the chickens. I'm just going to trot on up here and take a quick look at our greenhouses and just see how they're doing. We've got some melons here in the freezing cold. Don't know if that's going to do them a lot of good, to be honest. Uh, overall, though, I've got... Very little water left in this one, but the rest of them, we, we've got all kinds of goodies going on, and uh, yeah, it's actually just fine. I could do with getting a bit more water, which we will need before the end of the day. I've got 270 litres of vegetable seeds here. I'm going to drop those into this first greenhouse. There's still two litres of vegetable seeds left on my vehicle. One litre. Still one litre. You know what? Fine. I tried to give you all of the vegetable seeds. You didn't want them. So I'm now going to convert vegetable seeds into melons. By the wondrous miracle that is known as science. With science, we can plant vegetable seeds and we can get melons. I don't quite know which type of specialist gene splicing we're using to get melons from vegetable seeds but it's not my place to question the wonders of modern science it is only my job to utilize the wonders of modern science and get those melons with um i don't know maybe they're carrot flavored melons or something it, I, I, I really don't know at this point trying to reverse these trailers over the slopes is really difficult um, I'm thinking I want a different shed to put these in. Maybe that one at the back there. Like, if they just stayed... If we could lift the two front axles so only the back axle was touching the ground, it would make life a lot easier when I'm shunting around trying, trying to reverse these things. But as it is, the, the, the pivot point changing as frequently as it does. Yes, I know. I've whined about that before, and I'll probably whine about it again before we've finished this series. Let's be honest, I'm probably just going to whine about it continuously for a very long time to come yet. Um, right, I need to go and find some water. So we're going to go for a little bit of a drive back to the river. And we're going to extract another tanker full of water. I probably want two tankerfuls of water this time. What I'd really like to be able to do is just drive into the water in one place. Drive out in another place. Oh, there goes the snow. It would make it a lot easier if I could continuously go forwards instead of having to do the whole reversing thing. Because the reversing thing is the, the slightly tricky part with this trailer. Or maybe I just need a different trailer. That, that might also help. But look at that. See, the really short turn bases and I'm not very good at reversing with these trailers anyway. It, it's a, a skill that I haven't quite mastered. See, now I'm turned too sharp right there. And I'm already, the tractor's in the wrong position there. Right, now that, that's a little bit better, but no. Uh, I allowed the back end of the tanker to slide over just a little bit too far. Straighten. There. Gone. You can do this. And now he's gone too far the other way. This is what you get trying to reverse something with a short wheelbase. You know what? Just go in the water and stay there and there, it's fine. You didn't see anything untowards. No, no, nothing out of the ordinary. There's nothing to see here, folks. Now we can run back over to the greenhouses and top them up, hopefully before they run. Well, it doesn't really matter if they run out, but, you know, it's nice to be able to just keep them going continuously rather than having them run out at any point because it just feels like you, you kind of wasting a little bit of an opportunity when you do that. So this one here is actually not going to run out yet. 
Water is not accepted here. Water is accepted here. If I move forward an inch, apparently, um, the, uh, the the hose that we've got running from the tanker here to the water tanks of the greenhouse is about three centimeters too short. And the water runs continue. Actually, that's actually pretty cool. With the, uh, I'm guessing it's the speed. If I was to just leave this here continuously unloading the water would run without ever stopping so i could put a tanker here with like 200,000 liters in and then i've got a permanent water supply in theory that would work in practice it probably wouldn't be quite so great but in in theory it, it does work now we've got the water it goes here near the farm where does it go from this point? It goes into... Right, so it goes into a tunnel there. It goes into a pipe from where we are up here. Where does it come out again? Is it actually piped from all the way up here down to the river? Or am I... Oh, no, I'm looking at it from the wrong way. That's the, That's the source up here. This is... Or is it? I'm confused. I, I'm, I'm not sure which way this river is actually running. Uh, trying to look at it. It is the source. It is the source. You look there. It's higher on this side than it is on this side. So the water's actually running that way. I thought it was going through a pipe and then like, being piped all the way down the hill. But nope. Apparently not. Okay. So we're going to drive this way and go through the water like this so that I can fill the tanker and then uh, hmm, I want to be able to turn round and get out of here again without it being too difficult honestly about the only thing I can think of is if we buy this field here and then we make a small track along the bottom edge of the field yes I know it's not my field at the moment I'm just looking to see if this would be something that we could do so we make a track along here along this edge of the field that fence there it would be rather good if we could get through there but I mean I guess we could can we get round here We'd have to do a lot of digging. Yes, I know we can't actually be doing this like that. That would have to be where we would come in through if we can't get rid of that fence. Uh, I mean, I might be able to get rid of the fence. That might have to actually be a bit of um, editing of the map in order for me to get rid of the fence. But there's still a possibility. Anyway, let's, let's just tip out this water here. What have we got that we still need to put water in for? If I have a look there... Uh, melons, almost full, red lettuce, half, watermelon, half. Right, so I'm dumping out all the water that I've just got into that one, and I'm still not actually putting the water into this one, which I actually, I wanted to fill this one up. So we're going to have to do another water run in the morning, which is another reason that I want to change the river around a little bit and, and do some work on it. Are, are you really, are you full? Okay, I genuinely didn't expect that. It would appear that I have filled all of the water up. Let's shut you off then. And let's have a look. So, 9,500 on that one. 9,990, 9,970. All right, I've actually filled all the water up. I'm gen Color me surprised. I did not think that I was actually doing that. Uh, next up, I've got pallets of full, vegetable seeds of fine, manure is fine as well this one much the same this one much the same yeah okay so i don't actually need to worry about the greenhouses for well until february so i, I let's let's go on holiday and we'll come back in february right the watermelon and the melon both need to go to the distribution center that's the maximum price that we're going to get for those two the red lettuce, however, is needing to go to the south distribution center, and that one, the price is still climbing. However, red lettuce is there. 
almost full, so we're going to have to move some stuff around here. Now, I've got the water tanker on here. Um, we're going to also need to get a bit more manure in here pretty soon. Um, we've got all the rest of these items over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to, not you, uh, this one right here. I'm going to use this one to start removing some of these crops. So I want to take the red lettuce out first because that's the one that is taking up the most space in the storage. So if we can get that one out of there, that would be best. I might have these just a little tiny bit too tight together. This is gonna this is the only issue with how I've laid out these greenhouses is being able to get these pallets of products. So let's just do that. Okay, I can load that one, which means that I should be able to get the rest of them that are currently stored in there, unless this trailer is in the way and stopping. Nope, it's not stopping. It's not stopping any spawns. I can do that. And yeah, I do have the unrealistic version of the trailer loading. Quite frankly, I'm not bothered about that because I just want to be able to load these pallets up right uh, let me have a look on there I can take three more pallets which is exactly how many pallets we've got on here so for this greenhouse now I don't think unfortunately you have a loading area behind the trailer so I do have to squeeze really really carefully into that spot right in there and it's now saying 24 of 24 pallets. So I've actually completely loaded it up with exactly the right number. Oh, I see. I thought there was an extra one up on the top. There's not. It's just kind of like holding it up in the middle of the air like that. So let me just do that and then strap them back on again. Uh, so I've got all of these. These need to go to the South Distribution Center. Now, in theory, that price is still coming up, so I could leave these for a minute and get a little bit more later, but I'm really not going to get very much more than I'm getting right now. So I think we're just going to run these to the South Distribution Center right now, which is, I believe, I think we'd say South Distribution Center. That's over where we went and got manure from previously, so it's a little bit of a drive. Um probably be a bit quicker if I was to take the lorry however I'm thinking I want to take this tractor because I've already got the trailer loaded up um, I will slow time down we're currently going at uh, 60 times speed I'll put it to 5 and we'll leave it like that so I'll run these over to that one I might be stuck there until tomorrow morning because of the whole gate situation which is all right, I suppose. I mean, it might end up that we lose a little tiny bit of money from our sales. I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. You know, it'll give the melons an extra day to just accumulate a little bit more. I'm going to need to top up all of the different uh, things that go into these three greenhouses. So that would be the vegetable seeds I'm going to need more of and uh, also manure. I've got manure there at the moment, but I probably don't have enough. And then I'm also going to want to get um, a bit more water in there and uh, the pallets as well. We need to top the pallets up. So I've got some pallets in here. Actually, let's go and stop there a second and have a look. I kind of like that we've got to drive so far. Um, yeah, there's like 800 litres of um, wood left to turn into pallets when we need it. So I might actually pick up a load of pallets on this trailer on the way back through and then we can drop those into all the greenhouses before we unload a few other bits um, that's one possibility that we have uh, but yeah I, I I do like that we've got to drive around a bit and I like the, the, the travel, the distances that we got to go it's not great for this type of series though, I mean yeah I just chopped out but um, I I've still been thinking that this would actually be a really good map for a time-lapse series. Apart from the fact that so many of the other production mods 
seem to have lost products for some peculiar reason. And, well, I, I, I say peculiar, it's probably not peculiar. It's probably 100% to do with the fact that um, this map has got, like, extra crops and stuff on it. So it kind of, like, takes the space of some of the mods that people use. They use the same code space, I think. Like, there's kind of, like, when a map is having extra products and stuff added into it it used i think there's like numbers that they use to represent it in the planning of the map and so some of the numbers that it used uh basically shared you, you get shared numbers being used and then so if you've got one set of numbers being used on a map then if a mod uses those same numbers it, it basically stops them from being able to be shared it's just kind of like the way that it all works out now we've got over here we've got grapes we've got uh, olives and we've got is that pistachios almonds i think it's almonds let's have a look uh, yeah it is it's almonds yeah, we don't have pistachios do we we've we got lentils chickpeas and uh pis oh wait almond yeah we do have a pistachio i knew we had pistachios I knew it. I was right. We do. Okay, so it's not there. It's actually going to be this one here is the South Distribution Center. There we go. All of our cabbages, uh, red lettuce, sorry, not cabbages. Uh, red lettuce is selling. How much are we going to get? An absolute fortune. We have got 10,000 euros for selling stuff there. That's actually not too shabby. That's pretty good, I'd say. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, I need to drive back and I will make a brief pause at the pallet factory and I will pick up some pallets. Uh, where did this road take me? This one goes all the way round. Yeah, that's actually not very convenient for me. I need to go back that way and then drive down here rather than going around that side. Okay, yep, yeah, I can do that. And we can grab a few pallets. Now, I'm thinking I should be able to take all of the pallets that are here. I can take them up, we can load up the greenhouses, and then once we've done that, we can just drop the rest in the shed where we've got the others. So let's back you up there like that, and now, I'm curious how many pallets it's going to stick on here. <laughs> oh, yes. We're loading these up properly. How many are we going to get on here? That's all of that lot. And there's four more down there. Let me have a look in the factory. Curious how many we got left over. Wood pallets factory right there. It's got 200 left, so I've actually spawned out everything that we can. There's a little bit of wood still to process, and then that one will be finished. In the meantime, I've got 4,800 pallets, and we don't use massive... I mean, we do actually use a fair few of them, just not massive, massive quantities of them. Um, so I can take this lot back up the top, and we can uh, load up... The, why are you wandering down the street? I mean, seriously. You're going to get hurt like that. And no, I'm not waiting for her to get out of the way. Um, I, I suppose I could have done. I was feeling generous, feeling nice, but I've got work to do. And now we can drop a few pallets in here for these. See how many they need. They auto unload all the pallets, which is why I actually should drive up really slowly towards them. So they take them off the front of the thingy, like that. And do the same here. And I'll use up... There, that's better. Alright, there. Okay, so I've used up a couple of stacks of those. That means I've still got 3,500 litres of pallet left. But I can take these now and I can drop them into the shed over here where we drop the other lot. And I'm kind of hoping that we can 
put them in behind without causing too many problems. And also, I'm hoping that I can actually... Really? Why does it not let me move them in and out anymore? Like, it, it, it used to. Right control, AD, unload... Maybe I just need to use the normal control. No, that doesn't do it either. Oh, well, for whatever reason, it's not allowing me to adjust it. Where it used to. It definitely used to work. I, I, I had that working previously. Although not necessarily... Yes, I have done it on this trailer. I've used this trailer and I've adjusted the unloading position on it before now. Like That, that is something that I've done. Right. Totally didn't just knock the corner of the barn right there. That wouldn't have hurt the barn. It would have done a lot of damage to the tyre on the tractor, but the barn would have been fine. Uh, let's drop that lot in there. Excellent. And now I've got even more pallets lined up and ready to do stuff with. So next on the agenda, we need to reverse our way up here and I'm gonna want to pick up the melons now those melon prices what are they gonna be on now let's have a look uh, so I got 4,700 in there watermelons over here we've also got 4,000 almost 4,800 and if I go up there so watermelon now is on it's actually dropped down a little bit it was 599 this one is 585 that's actually going up a little bit it's not gonna make a big difference though it really isn't. So we want to get all of the melons loaded up and taken down to the distribution center. If I can't do it in a single load on this trailer, what I'll do is I'll pull the melons out of the greenhouses and I'll dump them down. Well, dump them. I, I, I will carefully place them. The, the melons, we, we need to treat these with respect. Uh, I will carefully place them down somewhere and then we will transfer them into the lorry trailer and we will run the lorry down there instead. Now, it's not destroy the corner of that greenhouse it would have probably been better if i'd spread these out just a little tiny bit just a little bit wider than what i did well what's done is done Up that way. at least i can get in here i mean yes it's a little bit of a squeeze but i can still do it let's start loading you up it's not even going to let me load because... Oh, yes, it is. I thought because I was so close to the greenhouse, it wasn't going to let me load. These are 1,000-litre pallets. That one at the front. Oh, there we go. Now we've got it. Okay. As they're 1,000 litres per pallet, not like the lettuces. The lettuces are slightly different for some reason. Can I get this one going forwards? And these are 1,000-litre pallets as well, which is excellent. And that one will pick up. Now, there should be a few more to go in here. Hopefully I can get the whole... Yep, there we go. That's all of those. So I can shut you off. And, yeah, so these come out in 1,000 litre pallets. The other ones come out in smaller pallets. I don't know why. They, they've still only got 10,000 litres each. I can upgrade, deactivate... Oh, wait, what? Huh. Oh, there. Upgrade. Upgrade. I can upgrade. Right, so I can upgrade. Yeah, I was looking for it over this side. It's there. I can upgrade these greenhouses and that so that it will double it up, which will double up the storage space for the outgoing as well as um, all the storage space for the incoming. Um, it does cost a little bit to do the upgrade. I'm still wondering if I should move them over a bit. Like, if I was to take these two greenhouses and move them down this way, I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to do a bit of kind of rearranging of the yard in order to do that, and it's going to cost us a bit. I need them to empty out if I'm going to do that. So I'm, I'm not sure. I won't upgrade yet, and we'll have a little think about that. But right now, we need to go and sell 18,000 litres of melons. So there's 9,000 litres of watermelon and 9,000 litres of um, other melon, which looks like a honeydew, actually. And it's either a honeydew or I think it's a rock melon. I'm not very up, up to speed on my melons. Um, the honeydew... 
Isn't that the... Oh, maybe that's the yellow one. I think this is the rock melon. The, 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 the orangey fleshed one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am pretty certain that a honeydew melon is actually the yellow one. It's a yellow skin and kind of like a pale green flesh. Watermelon is the easy one. I, get, it, I, I can identify a watermelon at 100 yards. I rather like watermelon. I, I, I eat a lot of them. Um, other melon, I don't mind. I'm just not a big fan of it, that's all. Now, we're going to go in here, and we're going to be locked in here forever. But we're on 21,000 euros at the moment, which means that we should be able to go and buy some vegetable seeds soon. Ooh! I do love that the melons are actually going out of the boxes, at least on the watermelons one. They weren't going out of the boxes on the other. There's another 10,600 euros that we've added to our total. And also the snow is gone. So we've now got 32,000 euros and most of that has come from selling stuff from greenhouses, which is pretty good. We got a little bit from eggs as well. But there's been a lot of sailing going on. We need to do something other than just selling stuff. What else are we going to be doing? I did talk previously about possibly selling some potato posts, but at the moment, I'm kind of reluctant to do that. Like there, 394,000. They are at a good price. That's about as high as it's going to get. The plain distrib... Where is the plain distributor? Oh, the plain distributor is just up the road from where we are. He is that one right there i say just up the road is actually opposite side of the road to us uh <laughs> it does actually look like that is another prisoning <laughs> that's another prison camp um essentially what we're gonna do so i am going to sell some of the potatoes and maybe we'll grow some more potatoes a bit later on but the price is at its highest right now and i don't know what i want to do with selling i mean i'm i've talked about maybe buying some animals uh, like getting sheep and you know, like getting all of the animals going on this series because we've got individual things for this map for the animals like all of them have got these different things set up so it might be quite cool to actually do something with them no i didn't want to do that i want to press that button so we'll load up we'll sell one lot at least 58 well actually that's all i can sell I'm, I'm literally being forced by the game to only sell one trailer load because when I get in there to sell it, that's it. I'm trapped forever or at least until the next day. So I've got 380,000. Yeah, looks like we're just going to have to run with this. Um, there isn't anything we can do with potatoes, though. There's no methods for potatoes. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.